good day guys yeah at the panel road here I'm going to kingston i'm going to leave gutters here now going into kingston so we're just going to give you guys a little drive through yeah just like that we're going up town up to constant spring road and Don robin avenue crossing yes
Anyway, stay up on the left, see me. I'm on the right too. Anyway, no see the house develop on the right hand side. I injure the state as well. There we have a little farm owned by Best Dress Chicken or Jamaica Brylers Group a company. Years ago, they do a lot of beef rearing over here. Whole pa beef jackal, whole pa a bull. We have a mostly red bull. Jamaica red bull and bull. So we don't know what we do now. We don't know what is happening over there, but the complex still active. Estate in the old sugar estate we attack. But then do they used to make sugar and distill. We have one distill where they make. I don't know about rum, but we know about alcohol and them things. Eh? Yeah. They used to have rum over there too. What kind of rum? But the factory is down there now, way down there. Well, we left here, so. Entrance and exit up the road, so. Another 300 yards. But on the right over here now, so I have some old sugar house barracks, they said. I've got no living them again, they move them out. And that, you may understand it, housing complex at start. You can have a seat by the right hand side, you know. Go by your right, I don't know where the scheme is, but like on gated community, I go over there. Only for development. Yeah. So up to my left here, so now I enter the estate entrance and exit right down to the now you say estate, I refer to the factory itself now. Because the entire property is estate. So right on your left here, so sugar mill that <laughs> yeah we're getting on to Spanish town and I'll see them here on the right hand side here housing take up part of the sugar cane land already here you know? and that up and running there a good while a couple of years now yeah but the development are going on the right hand side here is the famous Shedwin Park where them play cricket yeah it's still an active cricket ground in Jamaica Shedwin Park you hear about Shedwin Park over oh, well, that's it on the right yes and all hope of development a new petrol station from the right as well yeah self serve recreational facility down there and now it's here now now we never did we go down there already visit it where you can relax and eat some food throw some line catch some fish pay for your fish get it cut it and ready and thing like that nice to hang out spot you see in here oh in here nature's habitat you know see the sign again so you must like in our work again actually a farm with some fish pan and you know some little things set up a little thing about culture and all that thing down there Out here is up on your left now, I'm calling 
fed up with lane Actually a bypass to go back on the road Going up to Linstead and them place there they can, You can join the highway, the, the, the North Coast highway from this at all By going through there, if you don't want to go back up to the road about the Spanish town You can take the left of Featherbed Lane there so. Well we have most of these routes and the complex them Major ones in the van Google mapping and things like that, you know, your GPS now and all them things. Yeah, real time too. But we just had a while to drive in the same way. And record and talk. That is it. Yeah. I'm coming to the by elephant or so. Live a garden, well established long time. I hear about live a garden now, we will be in. Yeah, two of them the power left and we love in the third of the sun. Many many years they established. Our panda said and we talk about Sydney, Sydney, Villan, all kind of thing about Sydney. Yeah. In the next right turn up here say we enter in a Sydney. Different different name and different different section height. Yeah. Right back up straight back up. The right hand side there. Huge complex. Yeah. Major hardware, big hardware pass for them. Three right and then you climb black hardware. Yeah. We have to go over and push on the road now, but I don't know if you have to hurry and send the grass from the place where they develop well nice. Yeah, you can start to have a wheel of beach from here, so now And see on your right hand side, you have supermarkets You have every complex you can think of Big church, you have car wash, water filling station Everything, nice Copa Plaza San Diego Farm Supply Store Where you get almost everything in a farming and Everything where you want, you can call the market San Diego um, supplies too. Yeah, so them on the right hand. On the left hand again. Only for plaza, only for business space. Yeah. Yeah. And this has been here for quite a number of years. They added a few high rise buildings. <coughs> and added on to a couple of them. So this has been a, a, always been here. It's one fairly new building on the right hand side here. So everything. Pharmacy, doctor, have everything out here. One seal, wheel alignment, everything you have, you want out here. Tire map, place a tire center, then do the wheel alignment and thing. Anything you want to have, gym, Muslim bone fitness studio, is a gym out here. Yeah, so we are left, we don't need now. We are all left sitting on the last turn, half we sitting on down here, so by your right. Yeah, so we are heading in a Spanish town now. We're going to head to the roundabout where if you keep left, you're going to Linstead, you're going to St. Anway, St. Mary, anywhere you want to go. On the north coast, you can take the left of the roundabout and go down. And you can join the area where you go through the whole road. Yeah, so the last turn off there is an old one. We go to Sydney. This near all of our road from way down I first sit and I'm down so I mean, probably start from Featherbed Lane, I'm not sure. Them call it all of our road. Yeah, so if you are if you take transportation, stop in the have to say take all of our road. Transport. Anyway, tell them all of our road you are going away, so, so you call it all of yourself. So. All of our road. And you have by elephant and come in here in homestead too. Elephant, huge, very big ground here too. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, have home, homestead school up on elephant side. A primary and infant school now. Yeah, homestead. Yeah. So actually we're in a Spanish town now guys. Yeah. Industrious guys. Yeah. Go 
bus lane in traffic but you man and vehicle and traffic yeah very active guy know Spanish town was once the capital of Jamaica yeah oh the barrage history yeah Spanish town still up and running guys you know, I'm not really going to Spanish town because I told me I go and I didn't even make a drive through Spanish town so we, we enter the roundabout here now guys and from the right here so now we want to go build the well it's a famous jerk work spot yeah they do a very good jerk work over there very good flavor yeah and the pimento stick them and sweet to and thing like that a very good place and my favorite jerk work spot that so from the left here so now carry back to Linstead and them place that we tell you know right back in the center and, going around the roundabout here now so this first left here now again it's was Spanish town and we can go back round and going back here now see there and take a sharp left there so and go back on the highway so you can you can enter the enter and exit the area from Spanish town here as well that's the south coast highway you know right so if you want to go back down the whole hour and the traffic everywhere just got Yes, sir. and if the traffic too heavy in front of me here now, we just turn and go up on the highway, pay a little toll, and go in a Kingston. See how we Yeah, but we are doing the Spanish town drive through this one and the road. But this is a bypass, you know, we're not going in the town, as we said, it, it, it just passed the left. There, where you're going, and the roundabout, where you're going to the town. There are about three more that turn off up here on your left, or four. Then you can enter Spanish town. Up here, from the Spanish town bypass. So this road is the Spanish town bypass, guys. There. Inside is now you have some little thing now, some little tire shop and all the little thing there. Our party are going on for me, building material and things like that. So, all the little things sell out here, so. Yeah, for your car and you know, tire repaired now, one place. By your left hand side, here you have the food for the poor. Yeah. That's where they want to stay in Jamaica. Food for the poor. Yeah, the international food for the poor really. Most guys hear about it. But you know how it works now. Yeah. There used to be on a committee over there. Some guys on the left where you can't get little parts of your vehicle. Steering, little accessories, they want to power steering, wrap and all them things. Certain type of car mat and things like that. Food for the poor help in a Jamaica help a lot of people. Help with housing, help with food. They must operate through the churches and certain community organizations. Yeah. You still have a committee out there. It was running fairly good that time. I don't know what it is like now. Yeah. And the bypass area of local development same way. Yeah. yeah. Very active. Yeah, so we have some stoplight traffic here. 
you know and the first I'm telling you run about and in uh, the bypass here the first turn that again make go into Spanish town and you can also drive here and go back on the highway as well and drive here and go back on the Polava road here where you're coming from if you take the right way right so and left hand side of the famous salt factory Jamaica salt factory yeah and when the vest still at work how we go the power left hand side here right at the first turn off so I'm going at the salt factory at the first left turn off the left run about coming from all over yeah and the first and the immediate left after you take the left here so and the salt factory building that yeah So here I carry back in a Spanish town. Yeah, yeah, you have quite a number of business places out here as well. Like um, you have pharmacy out here, you have art of here. They mostly are to parts of this. Farmers in here, Vince Farmers in here, left and down. Yeah. Yeah, the art of parts of this out there. This one here, Run Express. Art of. Remember the name of the scheme that's on your right hand here. Remember the name again. Remember it. I write now. I'm out there, guys. I don't remember. Remember the name on your right hand here. Stop right here on the next left. Carry back in a Spanish town, same way. But this are the main, this road carried to the main center of Spanish town, the main transportation center, the bus park and everything, taxi stand and everything. Right now, Miguel Spanish town. This one carry you go to March Pen Road. Then you take the left here. Okay, we go right in the center of Spanish Town. So we are going straight this morning. Tire shop and 
and then two on your left and one on your right up here. So we still live on the bypass. Yeah. We are now heading out to Central Village. Yeah. There's another roundabout out here again where you can that take you into Spanish town where you can LF. Well, this section and the bypass now the whole for development. Yeah, it's still under development you now. At man both side here. Or on both side. So we are now entering the roundabout here. <coughs> right on the left hand side here there are some fish ponds. I look overgrown look overgrown now with shrubs and things like that. Yeah, it used to be inland fisheries. Yeah, run by the Ministry of Agriculture. Yeah, and fisheries. I don't know what is happening there you now. I'll be a bush missy out there. So, you know, okay. They didn't do all of them research and development and things for pan fish. Yeah, over on the left hand side here is the registered general department. So we're actually in a central village you now. Yeah, and we have a national housing trust office over on the right here. Yeah. Yeah, so this is Central Village. Yeah. Some Israeli people run the place and they ashram. Long time then they are construction people them them build them do fabrication as well and thing. Yeah, they build light posts and some in the column and beam you want and installation them have heavy equipment. Out here so now. These are sales vehicles on both sides of the road selling to different different little communities of Central Village. Bread van, bun van, bag juice van, everything. And you know what those things that you want to buy, you come out here so this time of day from 9 o'clock. You see a whole heap van park on both sides of the road there. Selling. Yeah. Selling goods for the little shop then, for the corner shop then. Yeah, so this is Central Village just the same. Yeah. Not much new development, but you know, fairly industrial, same way. That's what it looked like. Same central village for a long time. Yeah. And as you leave central village, you know, you reach, you're going to approach them called White Marl. Yeah. So after you go around this corner here, you reach White Marl. Here is actually White Mall. Down there on the right, we have some upper complex. We sing called Jamaica Brylers Group of Company and all them things there down there on the right. Yeah, industrial complex down there. Right. So I don't know where. After you leave White Mall, I think the next one is Ferry. Mm. Out of Ferry. So right up here now, you get an entrance and exit for the. Highway. This is it. If you're going to Centre now, you take the left here, and that's the North Coast Highway. This is where it begins, right on your left here. So we're going up on this from the highway, the turn off. We're coming from Kingston underneath the road, right? So this is it. Entering ferry now. That, that's that's what, that's what I know it as. You know. I know the ferry police station is way out there, but I call here so ferry too. All right, this is the next turn off on your right up here where that stoplight is. Carry back to Portmore again. Yeah. So 
you take the right here if you're going to Portmore. Yeah, but as you say, we are going straight. And you can look up on the hill there. A lot of development going up there, going on up there. Plantation height part of Red Hills, Paris Hill, the further up on the right there are Red Hills. But as you can see, a whole heap of housing. Yeah. 30 years ago you would see one or two houses up there. Yeah, probably about 10. I can remember. No, fully developed. Alright, so we're heading out to ferry now. here now is the exit for the highway if I was if I if I didn't take the highway from Olava yeah I would end up right here on the left right here so this is where you exit the south coast highway yeah and the entrance is a little bit down there by me and on the right I was telling you, if you see the background up on the hill there, you can see a lot of houses. Yeah. Big, there are some pretty huge buildings. Yeah. Here used to be sugarcane land on the left, and on the right here used to be um, cattle rearing. And just like how your Jamaica brothers used to do most of the Jamaica Red Pole, they used to do the Brahman out here, the white one that you see there with the hump in their back. Yeah, Brahman used to be the choice of cattle rearing on the right here. There's a new gas station there, you see there, right and and right out of ferry here. The police station is on the left down there. Yeah. All of this is on the GPS. Yeah, you Google mapping in a real time, see how you So, it's not anything new, but I just feel like showing you guys a little drive through. We have three lanes of traffic here guys. When it go out there, it's a little complex out here now. It used to be pure swamp. Out here apart from asphaltic paving company. That's how you used to name. Where did they here so? But they have a complex out here now and it has developed more and more. So right here now you have three lanes of traffic. You going to split and turn um, four lane up here, two lane going on Washington Boulevard. And the other one going to three miles and you're right here you'd go to three miles and go downtown. You know and Agri Park or those places. But I'm not going to drive down there because I'm going uptown. So I drive here on Washington Boulevard. So we actually I'm going to enter the boulevard here now. And go straight up. Yeah. So we're on Washington Boulevard here now. I go up, you know? go up a complex there about your business places and things like that. Yeah.
if you miss the road, you can turn, take the right there, so the first right and go back and go back out and and and, and thing there. And Spanish Town Road and end up back out of three miles same way. The road in here way much drive. We just passed a while ago. Yeah, so most of the place interconnected then. You can drive on your left here and go straight up on the hill there too. You're looking at up there. Forest Hill, uh, Red Hills, Plantation Heights. All them places up there, uh, come with them. Lees, Flat and all them places there. Up there. Yeah. You're going even there, you can drive around there so. Traffic every day is a road around here. I can drive a, a little escape route around here, right along the hillside. I don't know if people still use it. Carry back way out on the boulevard here, same way. From way up by Red Hills Road. Okay, there's a major road that by your left here. Well, it's a Kenil drive. Okay, you go right back out on the hill foot. So one of the major crossing up here now is Molines Road. Yeah, Molines Road, Washington Boulevard crossing. Yeah, it's a major road. This carry back in a halfway tree. Yeah, to your right and to your left. You carry back go to Red Hill the same way. And go back around where I come from the same way. It's a major road that. Yeah, here about Molines Road, you know it's a major road. You carry the heart of halfway tree straight now. Yeah, and there are a lot of Half a uh, lot of exit along the way, carry back down back Agri Park Road, same way, go back down, yeah, same way. Washington Boulevard guys and that now she until we reach Don Robin Avenue way up a nice housing complex here there a long time well, my years now over 20 years or about 30 years it did you know yeah
all here is commercial activities on both sides of Dunraven Avenue. Yeah, completely boulevard. Here on Dunraven Avenue. And we're going to go on Constant Spring Road. And then we take the right and go. Here we're going. So, this is the good journey. In at Dunraven and Constant Spring Road crossing. Which is right ahead here. So, guys, thanks for watching. You can turn left up at the stoplight there. If you're going up Kansan Spring or right, if you're going down Kansan Spring, yes, it's Kansan Spring Road straight ahead of here, guys. So, catch you in another one, as we say. Yeah, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yes.